Hey everyone, Gator here. I want to do a quick tutorial showing you how to set up your Stochastics in TC2000. <clears throat> I don't know how to do it through other softwares. I know um, there are other ones out there and most charting softwares I'm sure have this or have a way to do it. I only know how to do it through TC2000 and through Fidelity actually, but I'm just going to show you on here in case you have this program or you can get it or you can watch this video and then understand a little bit more about them and then maybe contact customer support at whatever broker or charting platform you use to get a little bit more information about it and I'm sure that they can tell you how to set it up <clears throat> but here we go so you can see my charts my nine charts this is TC2000 the only charting software that I use and these are different you can have down here different windows you can click through to add a different tab this button right here, new tab layout. You will left click it and you'll be given some options, starter options. Um, currently the one I use is this four right here. I'm actually going to be switching to this one soon and I'll have a preset list that I can kind of click through here to jump between charts really quickly instead of typing, especially for quick changes. I think that'll be helpful. But for now and for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how I have been setting them up. So as soon as you click on it, you'll have a new tab down here. You can rename it if you would like, just by double clicking there. But you click here, and we have chart. So chart, you'll open up a blank chart. I'll also make a note that you can actually, if you already have a four chart layout set up, you could actually just right click and click duplicate, and that would duplicate that layout, and then you could erase what you wanted to instead of going through the setup process. But you, I'll just show you from the beginning in case you don't know. You can see all my trend lines drawn on this on this chart. <clears throat> Two ways to get into it. You can click up here. You can click chart properties or you can right click and edit chart properties. If you want to, I'll go ahead and do this and I might speed this up. We'll see, but let's see. Open versus closed. This is the one thing you need to make sure that your things are open versus closed, not net change. So open versus closed. <clears throat> And then you can exit out or just go over to plot points. So in TC2000, here is your um, name that you have. And you want to add under here. You want to click on the plus add indicator after Tesla or whatever name you choose. And under this, this is where you do your moving averages and stuff like that. So you can do moving averages, exponential. In case you don't know how to do this, you can set this to you know whatever you want it to be. Eight, there you go. That's everything we want. <coughs> and there you have your just a normal that's a daily chart control one takes you to a one minute on the daily or you can use this tab here to um, navigate the times quickly so now we have our one minute chart set up now we want to add stochastics instead of clicking out of that what you want I could have just been here what you want to click is add indicator so add indicator type in stock s-t-o-c-h and you'll see these pop up this is the one you want. Stochastics. Click. You have your stochastics. Now notice that <clears throat> they're preset at 12 and 3. You need to change these. So on here, just click it. Go down. For the one minute chart, you want the one minute chart to set at 7. And the bottom K to be at 3. That's all you need. I leave the line yellow. You can change it. If you would like it to be a different um, a different color, that's up to you. But this is what you need here, and data source is your main chart. Click on the next, the little white one. It'll start off as white. It's D5, Delta 5. Drop that down to 3. <clears throat> this will always be 3 on every chart, but the stochastic will change on between the 1 and the 2 and the 5 and the 10. There you go. So that's it. So as far as just adding it, there you go. Now you have your, you can add your trend lines and you can add your stochastics. So I'll go ahead and make that on these charts too. We'll go ahead and edit chart properties. We'll do it again so you don't have to rewind the video. You can just watch it on the next chart. Open versus close, candlestick, filled, open, closed, open, closed. Edit plots. I'm not gonna add a trend line. Stochastic, right there. Drop this one down to 7, that's at 3, OK. The delta gets chained down to 3. 
if you want to know why, I can't. I don't know. Um, I think someone in the room, I think Kerbster may have been the one who did the video um, or who originally came up with this and, and discovered this. Um, I am not positive. He could possibly tell you or maybe you know more about it than me and you can write in the comments and, you know, tell me why this works or exactly what's and how stochastics work. I, I couldn't tell you, um, but I know that they do work. Um, at least as an indicator, not necessarily as something that's, you know, 100% like, oh man, here we go. But as far as a uh, a good indicator to know when to get into a trade, I find them extremely helpful. So again, stochastics. So here's a difference here. You want this one to be 5. So notice these are 7. You want your 5 and your 10 minute to be 5 and 3. So we got 5 and 3, 5 and 3. There we go. And then, so this is now a 1. So we want to change this to a 10 minute. Ten, or I'm sorry, this one's a 5 minute, which is actually control 3. So you can hit um, control 3 or 5 minute. And then this is a 10 minute. And you want this chart to be a 2 minute. So 1 minute, 2 minute, 5 minute, and this one will be a 10 minute. And this one again will be a 5. Change that to 5, that to 3. And then this will again be a 3. Here we go. So now you have everything set up as far as the correct um, stochastics. You have your 5, as far as you have your 5 down here, 5 and 3, 5 and 3, 7 and 3, 7 and 3 and these should line up pretty well <clears throat> and what you want is the gold at least how I have it set up the gold to be trending or pushing in the direction that you're trying to trade again it's an indicator it's not like a hundred percent thing I would say that I have less conviction on them um, especially if it's just one going if it's apart from the moving averages or something else like that but when you attach this to a moving average it can definitely give some conviction so I hope it helps and I hope it's helpful I'm going to look, I'm going to show you one other trick that I do or that I've started to try to do just messing around with my charts is if you want to have volume here, you could add down here a separate indicator, which I personally don't recommend, but you can do it if you want to. It just, it's a lot of extra stuff. So you could see it there, you know, you can have that below it and you could shrink it or something if you wanted to. Instead, what I do, and this is just personal preference, is if you wanted you could add another add indicator here at the bottom and it'll add it on top of your stochastics so click on volume scale by itself don't scale with the stochastic get rid of this um, now when you click on volume you can see that you can't really see where things are crossing well, if you go down here to this little line right here you can make it transparent so you can kind of get maybe an idea of the volume. So if you have limited screen space or something like that, you know, you're not completely blind as to <clears throat> everything that's happening. You can still see the volume. So I can look right here, I can see the volume. And so that's something else you can add to your chart. And like I said, I'm gonna be adding a, a, a list right here so I can click through different things really quick instead of typing every time. And I'm gonna change to that next week, I believe. But for now, there we go. This is all you need to do, and this is all you need to know to set up on TC2000. Again, I do not know about other platforms and other ways to do it, but hope this gives you enough information to know what I'm working with and what I'm using, and you can match your systems up. Another real quick thing, this is like a 80% roughly line right here, and this is uh, roughly 20% line down here, and those come standard. I don't change them. That's just where they're at. So, you know, good to know, you know, for, for yourself for what they are. And I talk about those in the videos, and you'll see me talk about them in some in future videos. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments before. And if you notice anything or you see anything, uh, feel free to help out. You know, we're here to help each other and to uh, get better at trading. So I hope this uh, adds to your repertoire. Have a great day. I'll see you all soon.